And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at timeline games. We have two of them here. We have American History and Americana. <laughs> What's the difference between those? Uh, American History is basically historical uh, events from America, and Americana is more like all sorts of things, popular culture, when different things were invented, um, the first iPad, the, the first hat, things like that. Um, so we're going to uh, take a look at these. They are completely compatible and work together, so we'll be taking a look at them the same. They're like other timeline games, so if you've already seen um, a timeline review of mine, then you, you can skip this next part, but let me show you how the game plays. <laughs> Each game comes with a stack of cards, so this big stack here, figure half of it, comes in each game. And what you're going to do is each person's going to get four cards put in front of them. So maybe, for example, here I have NASCAR found it, I have the founding of the CIA, I have the X-Files premiere, and Starbucks has found it. So you put four cards in front of you. You then take one card and put it in the middle the table, Woodrow Wilson, first elected president, and turn it over to see the date on that, and that date is 1912. Now, on my turn, I pick one of my cards and I decide to put it before or after 1912. So I'm going to go to the, the X-Files premieres happened after 1912. I was right! So I leave the card out there. And then maybe somebody else says the Battle of Gettysburg came before 1912. And they were right! Happened in 1863. So now it's my next turn. Starbucks is found at founding of the CIA, NASCAR found it. I think the founding of the CIA happened between Wilson and the X-Files. So I move these two here and put this card and flip it over. 1947. That was also correct. Then maybe in my next turn I say NASCAR happened between 1947 and 1993. I turn it over and woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo -hoo. I was close, but I was correct. Then let's say I think Starbucks was founded before 1912, so I put it down here, and no, Starbucks actually happened in 1971. So this card is then discarded, and I get a new card in front of me, the death of Marilyn Monroe. And we keep going until one person has all four cards in front of them in the middle, at which case that person wins. You can play with five cards or six cards, but it's the same thing. Um, these color numbers in the back shows you whether it's from the historical one or from the Americana one, um, but Basically, and, and like I said, you can completely mix them together. You can even mix in uh, stuff from the, the other set. So, you know, you could put in the invention of currency, which happened in minus 680, or when did Don't Stop the Music come? That was in 2007. So there's other sets. Everything mixes together perfectly fine, um, and that's how you play. For me, this is very simple. I'm just going to take these stacks of cards and add them to the immense amount of cards that I have together because, in my opinion, timeline really improves the more sets you have, the more you mix everything up. Timeline is a very educational game. It really is because it teaches you when things happen, and it's good to know when different things happen. Um, uh, the, the one complaint you'll hear from people about timeline is the replayability. Well, you know, I just mentioned to you that Woodrow Wilson was 1912, and you know, in the future, well, I know Woodrow Wilson's 1912. Well, there is that. But there's enough cards in one set to give you several plays out of it. I mean, you're not going to go through all the cards in a set anyway. You mix all the sets together like I did, and I think you pretty much have endless replayability, unless you're playing with someone who has, you know, uh, a memory that's just perfect, in which case you probably shouldn't be playing this game with that person anyway. I like it. I enjoy it. It's easy to play. I've always had great success bringing it out. Um, this one here is very focused here in the North American continent, um, and so that's going to sell well here. So if you're like looking for that American history or the Americana, these are the sets. But even, I think, worldwide, a lot of this stuff would be interesting, and I like it in a mixture of the worldwide. I don't like these sets any better than any of the other ones, um, but I like mixing them yeah, together. I wouldn't mind seeing a European history one show up. Uh, that would be a pretty cool thing to add too. But as it is, these are really cool. They make great gifts. This would be a good Christmas gift for somebody, maybe a stocking stuffer. Um, uh, as to which one's better, it all depends on what you're, you're, what you're looking for. They all pretty much play the exact same. Dice Tower Judgment. 
Excellent. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Boop! Boop!